Hi everyone, I'm Hagen with Minecraft Source, and today I'll be showing you how to use full color transfers to make a t-shirt of your choosing. What you're gonna need is a shirt of your choosing, your custom full color transfer, minecraftsource.com, and a heat press, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Some interesting things about full color transfers are, unlike sublimation, full color transfers can be used on any color as well as any fabric content. They will come out looking exactly how you want them every single time. The colors will be as vibrant as you have them. They'll be as murky and gross as you have them. However you want it is how you're going to get it. So we're going to come over to our web page. I'm going to go to print shop, full color transfer, custom full color transfer. We're going to click custom full color transfer again. Right here is probably going to have you log in. So do that. Then click customizer. And now we're to where we need to be. What you're going to do is click layers, choose image. You're going to go ahead and pick the picture that you want, which is for me, this one. If you want to move it around, you can click on it and then size it up, size it down. You can move it with the sliders, you know, simple, basic things. I don't want to do that though. So after you're done manipulating it how you want, you can come down to project name. Just go ahead and save it. I'm going to call this goose. Click save project. All right, now you can go ahead and click add to cart and then you can go ahead and proceed to check out. After you've done that, it'll be sent to our talented print staff and I'm actually going to walk in there and show you how they're printed. Now that we have that printed, this is what it's gonna come out looking like. I'm not gonna be mirrored at all. You're gonna see how it is. Right here. So now we can go ahead and grab our shirt and walk this away. Okay, so for full color transfers, you're gonna want your temperature to be at 338 for 15 seconds. With that, we can go ahead and put our shirt on there. So as I said before, you can use any color with any fabric content. I'm not gonna stick my hand up underneath there. That's not smart. Go ahead and take your full color transfer and put it on here wherever you want it. I'm going to bring it about three fingers down, try to get it as centered as possible. So for our first press, we're going to do the full 15 seconds. And just do that. You don't need a heat resistant sheet or any parchment paper or anything like that for this one. This is a cold peel, so you need to definitely have it cool off before you do anything else. Take it, set it right here. So all I'm doing right now is trying to introduce a little bit of air underneath it so that it cools off a little bit faster. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and peel this off. All right, so now that we've got that peeled off, we can put this back up on here. You're going to take your parchment paper right here, lay it over top, and press it down for another, like, five seconds. <laughs> now that we've gone through all those lengths, we can pull this off of here. And all right, after you do that, this should be the finished product what we're looking at yeah it feels kind of soft almost like soft flex but still not quite it's definitely much less thick than caesar easy subly but overall it feels pretty nice all right thank you so much for joining me if you have any suggestions or questions be sure to leave them down below please remember to like and subscribe and thanks for coming